G'day. We're starting a Kickstarter campaign. We'd like to raise funds to publish a really cool book. Let me tell you about it. Youngsters love to play. They love to play both physically and intellectually. That is, they love to be mathematicians. That sense of joy, that sense of wonder and play with mathematics is inherent in our younger selves. But then something happens to many of these youngsters as the years go on. A sense of fear of being wrong comes in. And that squatters that wonderful sense of play and that joy. They need to always be right to follow the right procedures and get the right answer. So we've written a book. It's called Avoid Hard Work to help students, young students, very young students, maintain the sense of play, the sense of joy of mathematics from the very early, early years all the way through to adult years and beyond. So it's a book for youngsters and it's a book for us adults too. In fact, here's one particular example. It's technique number nine. Avoid hard work. Let me give you an example of it. It goes as follows. Often children play with pictures, of course, like maybe it could be a picture of an island in an ocean and you've got a sailing ship you're coming up to shore and you want to land on the island. That can lead to a great puzzle. What I've drawn over here is a very complicated island. And I'm going to ask, is this dot right here in the ocean, some inlet of water, or is it on the land of the island? Oh, and you look at this problem and go, goodness, that seems very hard. I could try to trace my way in, and then I find I get uh, stuck in all sorts of dead ends. It just seems hard. So here's the problem solving technique. Can I stand back and say, hmm, is there a way I could avoid hard work? Now take some mulling, of course, and the mulling is the fun part. What are different ways I could approach this problem without doing the hard work or trying to trace my way all the way in? So here's a wonderful way to think about it. Think of it as a story. Imagine I am on a ship of some kind, a pirate ship coming up to this land. I come up to the boundary, I'm going to get off my ship and step over the boundary onto the land. And when I'm on the land, if I want, I could step over the boundary and go back into the water. From back in the water, into, from the water, into the land, and so on. There's an idea. Here's a way I could avoid hard work. I love it. I could imagine I'm out in the ocean and I can head my way to the dot. When I cross the boundary, go from water to land, from land to water, water to land, water, land, water, land. That dot is on the land of the island. We solved it by avoiding hard work. In fact, this book is full of all sorts of such strategies. For example, engage in wishful thinking, go to extremes, make it small, or just do something. That's actually a problem technique. Just do something, anything, try it. And we lay out all sorts of wonderful examples and ways to engage in wonderful conversation with the youngsters about this mathematical world. This is what mathematics is all about. Joyful thinking, playing with ideas, and seeing what you can get with them, what you can discover, and what else you can create. So please, consider helping us produce this grand book. Let's help youngsters maintain that sense of mathematical joy from their young years to their older years, teenage years, adult years, and beyond. Let's maintain that wonderful sense of wonder and delight with mathematics. Thank you so very much.